Here at ECOT TV we may have a world first on our hands. I'm on the Hoover and Sooner stand with Nick Parsons and another revolutionary development in optical switching. Nick, thanks for talking to us. Tell us about this new development. Well, uh, uh, Brian, what we've found is, is that a lot of our customers in data centres uh, want to have optical switching to automate their the fibre layer in their networks, um, but they, they suffer from unreliable power in, in their data halls. So we've integrated battery backup in this in this machine so that it can uh, it can survive without power for 12 or 24 hours, hold up the connections, and make sure that critical data gets gets to uh, the endpoints in the data centre. Is it actually available? It's uh, so we're we're um, we've delivered prototypes to our, our lead customers and they're evaluating them now. We expect it to be available in the next couple of quarters, more generally as an option. As I say, you've got a reputation for several years in optical switching. What was the thinking you know, behind this development? So really what we want to do is, is we might want to make it as easy as possible for our customers to automate their fibre layer and what we've done is, is provide them with all of the functionality that they need. Not only the, the lowest, lowest, highest, uh, highest complexity switch in the world, but now we've also in, included battery backup so it will survive uh, any power outage in the data center for up to 24 hours. Well, in a world where data centers are becoming absolutely paramount, it seems to me it's a great development at the right time. Thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you very much, Brian.